together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this song is about colors. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Now take two. Mix two colors and you'll make something new. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. You can also add a little bit of black or white. Yeah! <laughs> it's so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A green apple. That's right! Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? That's Mr. Frog. <laughs> yes! And what's this? Hmm... It looks like a green airplane. That's right! What's this one? That's a green pumpkin. They're usually orange, but I wanted to paint a green one. Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a green apple, Mr. Frog, a green airplane, and a green pumpkin. What do they all have in common? They're all green. That's right! Today, I'm only painting green things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make green our special color of the day. Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, Monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, Monkey. First, find all the blue circles and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This is a circle. That's brown. We only want blue circles. Oh, right. I forgot. Here's a blue circle. Thank you, monkey. Now, let's gather all of the green hearts. Okay. Here. Here. Here's one. And here. 
here. Splendid. Should I look for yellow diamonds now, Miss Panda? That's a good idea. Okay. Here. Here. And here. Great. And what's left? Two brown circles. Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie. We've sorted all the shapes. Thank you so much, Monkey. What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could pretend these two brown circles are coconuts. Look! <laughs> you certainly could, Monkey. And you could use these green hearts to be tree leaves. <laughs> Which snake is green? There it is! Green snake. Which fan is green? There it is! Green fan. Which gift is green? There it is! Green gift. Which jewel is green? There it is. Green jewel. That's exactly right. Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paintbrushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look, my paper is turning orange because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. It looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... We clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Topsy Turvy. This is a story about a very strange day. How strange? Let's find out. Let's begin. Topsy Turvy 
Written by Rohini Nilakani, illustrated by Angie and Upesh. I do not know why I woke up very early today. It seemed like it was going to be a very strange day. Nothing at all was as it really should be, and I could hear someone shouting loudly at me. My bed had climbed right up the wall, and my little clock had grown very tall. My umbrella was twirling madly round and round. My red and blue cap was making a clicking sound. What on earth has happened to my little room? I fear I am going to faint very soon. The fan has turned into a big octopus. My sister's doll is eating beans and rice without a fuss. My cat is sitting up in Papa's chair. And look, a mouse is reading the news on the air. In the mirror, ah, see, I am seven feet high. I know I am going to loudly cry. But now look, here comes a magic man. Sorry, sorry, he says. I will do what I can. Yes, yes, it was I who made this little mess. It was not so nice of me, I do confess. So, abracadabra and chin-chin-choo, room, get back in order. One, three, two. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids! It's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called I'm a Little Teapot. And look what I have in my backpack. A banjo. I'll sing the song first. Then you sing along with me. OK, let's begin. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Now this time, we'll all sing together, okay? Okay! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter J. Who can think of a fun way to do it? Let's make letters in the sky with clouds. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Hedgehog, show us how. Okay. <laughs> Jay. Ah. Great. I'll trace the next one. Hmm. Jay. 
way. Terrific tracing. Now let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try next. <laughs> J. Nice job. I want to try. <laughs> J. Ooh. You did it. Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? J. Exactly. Uppercase J. And what's this letter? J. That's right. Lowercase J. Nice job. Wow! Wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. J. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play the alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? I. What's this letter? J. What's this letter? L. What's this letter? T. Now let's do it fast. I J L T J I T L I T J L I J L T. Nice work, everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter. You say it. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily. Life is but a dream. Gently down the stream 
Merrily, 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 life is but a dream.